This right here is a clear sign that the vacuum cleaner has just been on. All right, so as you can see, what we have here is a cat, my hand and a hard drive. So yeah, this hard drive right here, I'm not too sure how long I've had it, but right, right here, I'm not too sure if you can see that, it says December 2008. So I'm guessing I've probably had it quite some time. I am, however, having issues with this. So what I'm going to do is open it up. And yeah, basically that's all this video is going to be about. Plus. And I'm assuming... And I'm assuming you like cats, so it's probably a good thing she's in it. So basically this has come straight out of my computer because it's having issues. It's like skipping around and stuff. It's doing some weird sh It's not been connected to my computer for quite some time, although it's been inside the tower. This is what it's mounted onto. So these right here are some silicon grommets, I think they're called. I'm uh, basically just going to open this up and... So yeah, that's basically this hard drive. It has a one terabyte capacity, 7,200 RPM. Most mechanical things stop working after a while and that's pretty much what this has done. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you know what hard drives look like on the inside. I will, however, be surprised if you don't. Now, I've opened up hard drives in the past, but uh, they've all been under a terabyte. And this right here is a terabyte in size. So I've opened up like a 500 gigabyte hard drive and 80 and I think a 200, but uh, this is gonna be a first. So it should be fun. Although probably not because they're more or less the same across the board, just different sizes and uh... yeah, yawn. Right then, so what I need here is a bit that's gonna fit. And I think I have that bit right here. Yes, it fits. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty bored right now and um, I'm not making a speaker video because I'm opening this. And uh, speaker videos are good, but they also get boring. Now, if there was a way to open up a hard drive and fix it after it breaks, I would do that. And trying to fix something like this manually isn't always guaranteed. I mean, it's not exactly like I know how. I could Google it, but I don't really care. I'll just buy another one. I mean, I do have six hard drives in my computer as it is, but, um, wow, this, okay, it's opening. It is opening. I think I need to remove these. Well, going through the plastic worked. And there we have it. Now I should be expecting a visit from Peanut at some point. Pancake has gone off, not too sure where she's gone. Let's take a closer look and see Wagwan. Ah, what is that? What the hell? Not sure what that is. Put it back down there. Right, so what I might do is power this up. And what I've got inside this Corsair bag is a power supply. And we have 700 watts of base, I mean power. Now this power supply right here isn't plugged into a motherboard as you can see. So what I'm going to do is take a simple piece of wire, take the ends off and make a U shape. And then I'm going to put this into there, just like this. And that turns on the power supply. Now, if you do this and you KYS, that is your fault. All right, so let's see what happens when I plug this in. So that right there is what this has been doing inside my computer anytime I've connected it. There is quite a bit of air coming off of this, especially on this side. And here comes Pancake.
and plug it back in. All right, so now she's seen this, she's kind of gotten a little bored of it. So what I'm gonna do is something a little silly. And uh, that involves maybe one of these, maybe a smaller one. Screw. That's weird, it stopped. So if I take this off and then connect it again, huh. Right, so it's still doing it. Oh, that jumped pretty far. Lost the screw. Wow, that feels kind of weird as well. Inertia. So the screw seems to have lodged itself down there somewhere. Right, so I've just taken this off of there. There's some pretty strong magnets on this. And that is where the screw was. Wow. Don't even need screws on that. Yeah, seems fine. I mean, well, it's still broken, but it's back to normal. More or less. I think. Turned off. Turned off. And turned on. Right, so now that I've had my fun with this, and so has she. Now, when I say fun, I don't quite mean fun. So, uh, now that I've messed around with this, and she has seen, where's she gone? Right, anyway, what I'll do is uh, maybe open this up. Wow, look at the state of that. That was nice and shiny before I started. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, YouTube camera recording. Oh, there she is. Here we have the side that isn't scratched. Right, so now what I'm gonna do, is plug it in. Wow, what was that? For a second I thought I had a transformer on my hands. It almost sounded like it was trying to communicate with me. So I decided to turn it off from the power supply. There he is. Okay, so now we've had our visit from Peanut and Pancake is also here. It's time to end, so I'll see you in the next one.